Good late afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series. It has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. It's really good that you can't see me right now because, <clears throat> you know, I, I was lounging around. And I have the kind of thing, and that's why I threw this band down on my head. Okay. The reason why I'm coming at you, of course, is to thank you for coming to the live gig today. This is what I do. That's, that's what I do. I also have a question. I'm a little confused about something. One moment, please. Okay, for the YouTubers that have been uh, YouTubing for a long time, what's, okay, you know how after you go live, you press um, the okay and everything, and it brings up your numbers, and it'll tell you how many peak occurrences. Mine said 22, but there were, I counted, because you know me, I keep my list of the loungers that arrived, you see, and I scratched through Jake, because, you know, he wasn't really there, but um, I came up, I got 27. Do you, is this 22? Does it mean the people that hung out the longest, maybe? I really don't know. I don't normally study the analytics and, you know, draw up pie charts and call in the neighbors and compare this and, you know, clutch pearls and run to the street or anything over it. But I'm just curious about it. So if anybody knows, I suppose I could look it up. But why bother? Why look anything up, ladies and gentlemen, when I have you? I have you at my fingertips. <clears throat> okay, now... I really, really appreciate the new people that came over and the old people that have stuck with me, too. I I need to um, tip my bandana, I guess, <laughs> to those um, who've hung in with me for life, like Pat Hacker and Nicholas and, gosh, Mark Damon, a lot of them. Uh, sorry if I left you off. You know, Freethinker was. She was one. Um, and we have Beverly, and I got permission to put her on the map of New Jersey, and we have Christine of Scotland. And um, the older hippie chick, she's been on the map for a while. For those who don't understand, I have maps, like dry erase maps for kids. And I like to put you on there. And they're behind me during the show. But because I do this all from a phone, that's another thing. I do not know how to go live from my computer. I would love to have a tutor. I really would, ladies and gentlemen. So if you can help me out with that, that would be great. I don't, you know, I, okay, look. I actually look. I actually did try to look that up once. Um... Well, many more times than once because I I downloaded programs and everything that was supposed to help you to go live on YouTube from your laptop. I could, one's called OSO or OSM or I don't remember the what it's called. But, I mean, I really, really tried. I just could not do it. I'm not really good with that stuff. So I use the phone. Um, at any rate, yes, I just want to thank everybody for coming over and remind you that, first of all, for Tia, this is for Tia. She was a lounger of the week last week. And she wanted me to do the Native American, like, in this area stuff. And my loungers of the week get to choose a topic on which I can focus for 10 minutes. Just only 10 minutes. Or, like, Nicholas chose a phone call. But I've known him a while. So, you know, we talked on the phone and I recorded it. And stuff like that. And Tia wanted me to do the um, the Natives in this area, like, a little bit of history. My friend Mick is going to help me with that. We talked about it the other day. But I just kind of wanted to remind her and others... So you don't think I'm um, slacking off on my lounger awards. Also, Ann Beck, Ann, A N N E B E C K 58 uh, was also a lounger, but I don't have to do anything on here for her. Um, I was mistaken. I just need to take photos and send them to her, like through email, of some of my doodads that I've done. Doodads that I've done. So, and Richard, I have to record an album for him. And so these are things that, like, a lot of people might not see. So I just didn't want you to think I was neglecting those loungers of the week. The lows, ladies and gentlemen, L-O-W. So, um, anyhow, I'm just really tickled pink about the new subscribers and the people that are coming over. And I'm just a little confused with the analytical stuff. Um, also, Glenn came over today. That was good. Uh, really, it's just, uh, I don't know. I'm very humbled over it. So, um... There you have that. I guess that's all. Uh, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. Wait, that's not all. <laughs> Next weekend. Um, it's, I'm getting a message here. Ne oh, one moment. I'm suddenly stuffed up a little bit. But um, Friday, February 9th is my actual birthday. So over the weekend, I'm doing a game, but I'm not in charge of it. So it's um, Stump the Host or, uh, yeah, Stump the Host is what we normally call it. But I don't really, I don't want to be stumped that badly you know what i'm saying <clears throat> you know bring general trivia or whatever you want i'm going to do just a few things in between times where i can shout or ask questions where you'll 
I don't know, kind of get to know me a little bit due to the due to the questions I'm asking. It's hard to explain. Like I might say, um, it might be a question about one of my favorite rock and rollers or something about mother or whatever. Just a way to kind of get to know me better, ladies and gentlemen. You will get to know the fact that I'm probably not going to get these answers right. Because my loungers, when they come over with questions, it's been demonstrated before, they're so hard. They're very difficult. So when you're coming up with the questions, try to give me goofy clues. Like if the answer is, oh, I don't want to say Ernest Hemingway. If the answer is, uh, I assume, uh, uh, Richard Gere or something. No, I can't think of anything, ladies and gentlemen. Just try to give additional clues on top of stuff, would you? Come on, take it easy on me. It is my birthday. I think I'm going to wear a dress that day, my new dress. Can you believe it? That's crazy. I'm writing down right now my um, mailing address, and I will hold it up because I do things the old-fashioned way. And I'm hoping you get postcards. I'm having a postcard, postcard drive. So I'm not going to do the... I'll pause this clearly. Here it is. Lisa Hauserman, Box 5227, Conneaut Lake, Pennsylvania, C-O-N-N-E-A-U-T, New Word Lake, P-A, 16316, Postcard Drive, don't care if you're one of my neighbors seeing this, I would love a postcard from Conneaut Lake. Marie, I was holding her and she has to launch away wildly. We've got to stop her from that launching. Okay, I am now done. So next week, take it easy on me, please, ladies and gentlemen. With your questions, make it so that I can get them right, please. Okay, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me, join others, drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, War is a Racket by General Smedley Butler. Look into it. Check it out. Get to know it. If you have the money, order it in bulk and hand it out at the next graduation party that you attend. Okay, that's all. I'm done. I really am. Watcher, I'm done.